So waiting on Kevin to come in. Let me uh, invite him. Guess allow viewers to join your guest when you are class. All right, Kevin, I'm on now. You're gonna have to help me with this. I think he should have set it up. Let me uh, message Kevin and tell him he might have to set this up. Let me message Kevin. I might have to redo this. Kevin on uh, live views to request to join. So Kevin, I think you might have to request to join me and then I can accept you. And I think both of us, um, hold our, our camera positions in different ways. Too much credit can be harmful. Okay, let me get on. Sean, join me on my personal page, right? Join me on my personal page. Um, Arlette, just hold on. Let me let me invite my guests in. Uh, on this page. Okay. I have a guest on tonight. <laughs> Just hold on. I have a guest on tonight. Uh, Mr. Kevin Young, who is the cash flow king. So we're uh, just setting this up. We wanted to combine and do this together. And um, so it's from different states. But I'm going to discuss with you um, some some things that I call credit secrets. Okay, Kevin is watching. Kevin, can I tag you on here or do I just, we need to go to our personal page. Okay, you're in now. Like, like, correct way because I know you and Josh hold it another way. Nah, we good. We good. We, we, we can do it this way. It's fine. You gonna do it this way? Okay. Yeah, this cool. Let's go. Looking energized tonight. Hey, I, 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 I'm, I'm always energized. I'm, I, I get excited about um about this topic. I get excited about educating. Period. So, so I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm, I'm trying to um multitask, but you can go ahead and. and you're the host on this. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, so for people who don't know who I am, I'm Kevin, a.k.a. The Common Sense Teacher, Mr. We've Been Working. Uh, hey, just excited about this event that we got going on on October 27th, right? Right, October, Saturday, October 27th. And, and cool, so so every week, every week we're going to come, and probably more than, you know, probably more than just on Sunday, but right now, every Sunday, we plan to, to kind of give some tips, some things you can do to prepare for the event. But then also we want to give some value too. So right. um, most definitely tonight's topic is credit, like like positive cash flow, positive credit. Let's um let's wait for a few more people to hop on, Latanya, and then then we'll, we'll we'll move on. We'll keep moving. Okay, that sounds good. So I guess the future let me, um, start on let me, like and share so we can get more viewers in. Um, most definitely. Let me let me share this on mine real quick. Uh, can you do that? Because if I can, maybe I need to share it on my own. Yeah, I just, I, I just, I just shared it. Okay. I just shared it. So cool. All right. Because the I lights. What's going on, man? 
I see some people here. I know Richard Tatum the second. What's going on? It's like once I shared it, people saw I was hopping on too. So okay. it's cool. John says, "How's the cash flow? Credit is too hard, or credit can be." Wow. Okay. 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 Hey, hey, we 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 gonna talk about that tonight because you know I'm I'm the cash flow person, you the credit person, right? And you know you know let's tell you like a, a lot of times, and this is one question that comes up a lot, is like yeah you saw those posts where people say, would you rather have a million dollars or uh, eight hundred fifty credit score, right? And and so I I told I told people I would rather take the cash flow because this is just me. And it's me, and then you you can tell you you can talk about the credit side um, of, of of my my stance on cash flow. Like most people, most people only look to, and Sean is right, equilibrium. Mo most people get good credit just so they can get the cash flow to go buy what they want. That that's my understanding. Okay. Is 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 that fair? That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Okay. So if I can get the cash flow without the credit necessarily i'm taking the money right. <laughs> i'm saying i understand what about you no, I, I agree with that but at some point um you know it's like lottery winners you have to understand how to manage the cash flow as well and mm. at, um at some point i think you want to just do a combination of both um uh, i would take the cash because like you said the cash can get you the credit score that you want but mm -hmm. uh, what I do tell people, though, if your credit is at a score money, um, to make more money, then a great cash flow can leverage, um, let's say, a lower number, like $100,000, bringing you in more cash flow over time. Gotcha. You know, over, over time. So... Uh, it's it's harmful if your debt exceeds your profit. That's true. I, yeah, yeah. You you know what? I don't. That's that's a that's a um that's a good point. He said, look look at credit for leverage, which is good. The, the only thing is that you know what 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 I'm saying, and you know, and, and you can chime in on this because someone said that your 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 debt is more than your exceeds your profit. So what so what do you say to Amazon then? Like what like it's because Amazon for the past how many ever years didn't show a profit for tw almost 20 years. They, now they had the cash, they had the cash flow and the revenue, but they didn't show a profit though. So, so, um, where we at? Uh, Sean, I mean, not Sean. Yeah. Sean Parker. What, what do you say to, to that Amazon statement? Cause I, I'm, I'm curious to hear because I hear, I hear different things from different people in different situations. Let me explain. If I talk to a business owner, they're going to tell me that they want to get hands on the money. Like they, they want to have the cash flow to be able to, make more like widgets or whatever they make or provide more service for a group of people. So they're going to, they, they're going to want the credit and the cash flow. They want both. But when I talk to a person, like a personal person, if, if I'm using that word correctly, if I talk to a person who's using personal credit, they want to have a good credit score so they can go buy something. Mm -hmm. That's, 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 that's me. That's me. And then, so, so you, so then you say, I think you mentioned earlier, yeah. You mentioned earlier about um how, how much how much does cash flow affect your credit? Like how much is it? The amount of, on your credit report is 30% of your score, right? And then your payment history, um, I'm on per Periscope is giving comments as well. It said credit cards give free money all the time. So as long as you, you pay the uh, bill in full, it's free money. And so just think about now, let's look at it from this perspective, though, uh, Kevin, with that, the comment on Periscope. And then, but I'll I say this too your payment history is 35% of your total mm. score. Now, wow. Kevin, now you said a million dollars or an 800 credit score. What? Yeah. If you can take that million dollars cash and invest it in something at, I don't know, give me an interest rate. Take your 800 credit score, use somebody else's money at 0%, and take that money and invest it for more cash flow coming in. And oh. cash is somewhere sitting in an investment, making money um, as, as well. Now, that's the strategy I like, but hey, I, I see. you know, I see. 
I got you. Right. I got you. And, and you know what? You know what's gonna be what's gonna be amazing is at this event. Like we we gonna look at both sides. Like we gonna look at a person. We gonna look at how cash flow benefits you. Right. And and we gonna look at how credit benefits you okay. as it relates to 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 this this argument. Right. Because I I feel like as long as you have a strategy and Sean Sean you're right, and and Sean you're right. I think I think what's really great is that Amazon had a strategy as re, as it relates to. Um, you know, utilizing that the, the debt that they had because sometimes you can leverage debt into profits. Mm -hmm. So, so you're right, Latanya. You're right about that. Sometimes you can leverage that debt into profits. Right, and see, that's why Dave Ramsey didn't work for me. I could, <laughs> I could not spend my cash. Now, other people's money. I <laughs> oh my God! When I had cash in envelopes, I have some of Dave's things right here. And when I had my cash in envelopes and um, and I understand that mindset, that psychological thing, but you know, someone said I had a million in CD, uh, that paid 50,000 a year plus, um, uh, or they say if they had a million, you, you can get, you know, uh, an investment that returns back 50,000 a year. Um, uh, and I like my money, my cash money in something that is, uh, producing more money of it. That's me. I agree, but but look, but Latan, what about this? And and people don't think about this either. And you can ask this question: What about when you do when you do get access to that money? What about you paying it back? Like what? <laughs> don't, don't, you still gotta. Pay